When you drive the same road day after day, it's easy to think about the road not taken. I was lucky. I picked a good road early, and I stayed on it. Mr. Coxman? What can I do for you? It's about your son. The first thing that appealed to me about it was the fact that Liam Neeson was going to be the lead guy. I, I had never met Liam and never worked with him, but I, I admired his work, and I've heard through people who did know him what a great guy he was. So that right off the bat kind of made me very interested in doing it. And um, the script was really well written. The characters are very well drawn, uh, a lot of action. And um, I really hadn't done a movie that had that kind of action in it before. So that was interesting to me as well. He died of a heroin overdose. We didn't know our own son. Kyle wasn't a druggie. Sorry, but all the parents say that. Hans Petter Molland, um, he has a very light touch as a director, um, which is wonderful, really. Uh, you know, there's no shouting or yelling or screaming. He comes over and gives little touches here and there. And uh, he knows what he wants. I mean, he's made this movie before. So he has a lot of insight into the characters, and, uh, and he's very helpful. What is it with all these nicknames? Speedo, Viking, Eskimo. It's a gangster thing. Did you have a nickname? Wingman. Wingman. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> no, those guys. First of all, I think they're going to be very entertained. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of action. And there's some twists and turns that you don't expect. Um, what they'll take away, I'm, I don't know what they'll take away in terms of any sort of message, but I think they'll, I think they will have had a very enjoyable night in the theater. Citizen of the Year. Good for him.